Hey guys, my name is Janelle Godfrey. The topic that I chose to report on is um, the Journal of Madame Knight written by Sarah Kimball Knight. This is a story that she wrote herself about a five month long journey that she took um, on behalf of a friend to, from Boston to New York to settle her late husband's estate. Um, Miss Knight was married, but her husband had died. While she was married, she made her living um, as a shop runner. She taught handwriting to children, which it is known that she was once a teacher to Benjamin Franklin. She copied legal documents, which is what brought her on this journey. And she took in um, people who needed room and board. After her husband died, she was very independent, made her money by um, buying and selling land, and became a landlord of sorts. She was an innkeeper. Um, so she decided to take this journey, like I said, on behalf of a friend to settle her husband's slate estate. Um, but back then, travel was very, very difficult, especially for women by themselves. So she desired, decided to hire different postmasters to travel with her on her journey. Um, this journey took five months, and it was from Boston to New York and back again. Um, it started in October. So the weather was just turning cold. So that was one of the biggest difficulties that she had was traveling in the weather, being a single woman, and um, just having to find room and board on the way there. Um, she was very scared of running water. And over this journey, she had to travel over many different um, rivers. She talks about one river that um, she her horse tried to travel across and the water was very swift and it, the horse about fell in, which scared her. Another um, river, the Thomas River, that they had to travel over, she actually had to get in a boat because the weather was so bad and the wind was so hard that it made her boat rock back and forth. Um, so she decided to keep this journal just to talk about all the experiences she had on her um, trip. Like I said before, one of her biggest problems was finding room and board on her journey. Um, she had some good experiences, she had some bad experiences. Probably the bad experiences outweighed the good ones. Um, the only really good one that she talked about was when she actually stayed with a um, minister in New London. Um, she states he was handsomely and plentifully um, respected. He treated her very well and lodged her very well. She described him as the most affable and courteous and the best of men. She can't really say that about a, a lot of her other places that she did room and board at. Um, in Saybrook, she stopped for a midday dinner, and she said she had a terrible landlady. Um, she states that the landlady told us that she had some mutton, which she would broil, which I was glad to hear. But being um, pickled, and my guide said it smelled strong of head sauce, we left it and paid six pence apiece for our dinners, which was only smell, which means that it was terrible, and so she really didn't even eat. In Fairfield, she went to bed supperless one night. Her room was described as a little chamber furnished amongst other rubbish with a high bed and a lower one. Um, she states that she laid down, had never been more tired in her life, and found her coverings as bad as the bed was hard. Um, after six days, she stayed with relatives before traveling another three days to New York. And I think probably she was most comfortable with her relatives. Um, in her day and time, for, you know, for the type of lady that she was, as independent as she was, she was also described as being a little bit racist for our standards these days. Um, she was very adventurous, but with her being so independent, it, it did lead to her being very strong-willed. Um, <clears throat> some of the passages that she talks about that we would consider racist today um, she describes Connecticut's Native Americans. She states that they were the most savage of all the kind that she had ever seen. She um, once went to board someplace and was met at the door with what she described as an Indian-like animal who came to the door who had ragged clothing on. She also states that she couldn't understand him but could understand his wretched wife and daughter. She asked him to accompany her, <clears throat> but... They referred to him as being as his ugly self, and he was a tattered tail guide. Um, one time she was in um, Connecticut, and she was eating with some farmers, and she states that they were very indulgent to their slaves. Um, she says that they suffered great familiarity from them, permitting them to sit at the table and eat with them because they said it saved time. And into the dish goes the black hoof 
as freely as the white hand. So she actually referred to it as a black hoof. Um, after five months on this journey, she was welcomed back home to her mother and her daughter, and she was very, very happy about that. So in conclusion, if you ever get a chance to read this story about her um, journey, it was, it was very interesting just to hear about what she had to go through in that day and time. Thank you.